Welcome back. Uh, I have luck this year. Actually, this is going to be back-to-back -back recording. I'll be honest. Back-to-back -back recording so I can have lots of videos for you all. Um, as, as you know, last time, I showed you the damage to the bottom. So the, the first part I will be cleaning completely up of all this dust and crap will be the bottom. Uh, and then I'm going to try to jigsaw the plastic pieces back together. I don't know how it's going to go. But, uh, I know I don't have all of them. I know I'm missing some. But uh, let's see how this goes. Uh, I'll see you in a moment. Now, normally I would use a can of compressed air after I'm done to make sure everything is gone. However... With the pandemic and all that, it's hard to get a hold of canned air in my area. So, we're going to be using a paintbrush. Cheap one, but it works. And a uh, toothbrush for the small reach areas where I need to really scrub. Um, might as well get started. Now, as you notice, once again, my tabletop is made of wood. And, uh, well, the reason I did that is, as you know, I do a bunch of soldering, a bunch of my own projects. I'm going to come back in here from Q-tips. And, uh, well, I burnt through my plastic table. There, I said it. It's not the first time it's happened. I'm tired of it happening. With this having a wood top now, yes, I can still burn it, but it shouldn't burn through it as easily. So. Anyways. Looks like someone spilled something in here. Ah, so if anyone can uh, make me the little ATI badge that was on here, I will pay you however much you want as long as it's not outrageous price. And... I will forever thank you, and I will mention you in my next video, or whenever I get it, and I'll put it on in a video for you. Anyways, uh, see how the dusting's coming along. <clears throat> yes, I know. Boring video. Ay, 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 ay. Now, if you notice, there's some, like, spots that are not coming clean. So, I'm going to go over those with uh, a Q-tip and Windex. And a lot of the hard-reach places. Oh, I just broke them. What did I break? Uh, that's what I broke. Nice. Yeah, this base is really brittle. Good news is I know exactly where this goes. Yoink. Another piece to fix. Now you're probably wondering why I don't just buy another base. Um, last time I looked on eBay, they're anywhere from fifty to thirty dollars. I uh, said so this is my original base. I'm a sucker for nostalgia, we know this. So instead of problem, possibly bringing more of these, which is a little shocking to me, because those are supports. <clears throat> I'm going to go in here with a Q-tip and just do this. This is where a uh, hand air will come in handy. Also, I hope you all like the new... Uh, Point of view of my camera. I, uh, let's just say my TV is no longer on my wall unit and I, uh, rigged up a, uh, solution to hold the camera. <clears throat> Good news is, it looks like, yep, just using a Q tip, no Windex, it's getting this clean. 
Yay! This makes me happy. Are you probably wondering why I am no not holding on this project? Uh, to wait for more money for more parts. One is so that I can do more videos sooner. And the other is I really want to play it. Um, one of the games I... One of the only games I originally had for this was Mario Party 7. Yes, I still need to get the controller for it. Uh, microphone for it. But, uh... Wait, wait, you going... Nope, you going in there. <clears throat> um... Um, back when I got this, I originally never had a memory card for it, and then I got pawn. But, I don't care about that, because I had fun playing it anyways. Yeah, I couldn't say my progress on Mario Party 7, but, I got pretty far in the game. I would leave it on overnight, and, well, I would just keep playing it. As soon as I got home from school. <clears throat> I won't admit after I put this back together. Um, when I do get some canned air. I'm actually going to go over this again. With the uh, canned air. Just to make sure it is all really properly dusted. Now, when I go to re glue what I can back together, I'm going to uh, clean every all the broken pieces with rubbing alcohol to prep the area. Uh, the super glue should work a lot better that way. As for this piece here, I don't have this piece here. I also don't have the screw for here. But what I am thinking of doing... Hmm, that would have been amusing. What I am thinking of doing <clears throat> is uh, <clears throat> trying to find a washer that will fit in here. Because the screw <clears throat> bottoms out here. Uh, the head of the screw bottoms out here, and, heck, I'll just get one to show you. Hi! And that's how far it comes out. So, if I put the washer, where are you? Put the washer here, and super glue it in place, as long as it's the proper size and everything, it should let me bolt the side back down again. I will have to buy a screw kit from a decommissioned GameCube off eBay, but that should work. <clears throat> Alright. You notice this is now fluffy. It's actually making this a lot easier. <laughs> I just about have many heart attack there. Now let's see. Like, there's certain areas I just cannot get into. Hmm, that worked. So I wanted that there clean. Okay. <clears throat> so now that the bottom is dusted, I'm going to pause this so I can try to do, uh, those little section things that they do on YouTube now. So I'll see you in a second. Okay. Um... I'm going to go ahead and open the super glue and get it ready. Mm. 
Come on, open up. In. <clears throat> Slash applicator. And this thing. Oh, that's how that... I like this. I normally buy, like, dollar super glue from Save a Lot. I derped. Oh yeah, I just got some glue on my hair. Sorry about that. It looked like uh There we go. The uh lid wouldn't open. Anyways, now that that's prepped, get my ninety one IPA. Some Q tips and the first part we're gonna repair is right here. So before I actually do anything, let's see how that goes in there. Alright, so it goes in there like that. I just can't seem to get a grip of things today. Alright, so super long side goes that way. Okay. Now to clean it up. I know, very boring. Okay. Let that dry. And... Go ahead and try to clean this piece. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, super glue. Right. Didn't need that much. Oh well. Alrighty. I should have some time to get this back in there. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna hold it on pressure. And like I said, I'm curious. Uh, yada yada yada. Where's the back of this? Where are you? <laughs> yes, I know. I'm not talking right now. I'm reading. Wait 24 hours for full cure. Well, I will say this. Once all the screws are in holding together, it'll be a nice tight hold together, so I ain't got to worry about... Fuck me. <clears throat> Continue on is all I can do. Oh, let's see. Let's go ahead and try and fix this piece real quick. Let it dry. Huh. I just realized I'm also missing this one. Ay. I'm time lapsing the rest of this.
ground to the front. Uh, these are kind of anchor grounds that also serve as the shield ground uh, for the, uh, I guess, sort of the Faraday cage around the uh, DNA to the male plug. Now, on the new connector, these are much, much wider. And on the old connector, as you can see, it's much more narrow. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to disassemble both of these, which is a very simple process. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to uh, I glued together I glued everything back together that I could that I had all the plastics for. Um It's actually pretty strong. Uh it cures in 24 hours though. So I forgot this last piece right here. Mainly because I did not have it in front of me. Uh, let's go ahead and get that fixed up real quick while we're here. Now, I did clean this up already. Uh, it had hot glue on it at one time. Yes, I did take this console apart before I did any of these videos. I wanted to make sure I could fix it. Um, and I'm going to be putting that in the... Well, you've already seen it because I have already put it. But I put it in the first episode in a cut in from production, yada 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 yada. But anyways, uh this is cleaned up the best I could. So what I did do is mark one line to match up with a line inside there. I'm not sure if you're able to see it, mainly because I can't see my camera. Uh but all I have to do is Add the glue. Choo -choo -choo. All right. Now, if you notice the way I did the glue. It's, uh, basically the emblem of the, uh, screws. They use the, uh, aim bit screws. Alright, now, line that up there. And it's on there. I mean, it's got really good grip strength while it's setting. Hey, hey, hey. Um, one of the reasons why I didn't make it a circle is because, uh, in case it ever breaks off again, it gives me a chance to roughen up the surface that's already there and to try one more time. So, uh, yeah. So that's the repair of the bottom of the GameCube. Oh, hell. This is, this is going to take a while. In other news... There is no other news. I'll see you all uh, later in the next video. Where, uh, which I'll be recording soon. So you'll have it soon. I'll see you all later.